let's thrust uh, pulse one to the left to the minus and the com says turn on the low Z so back to the DAP we go we'll just use the F DAP now as you can see when both lights are off this is the called norm Z you'll see uh, it reference uh, numerous time as we go and we have low Z and high Z high Z is a very high thrust uh, jets that fire an increased rate very dramatically but we can't use them close to anything actually because uh, the exhaust of the burn will probably fry everything around this is why we're going to uh, low Z so the upward Z no, remember that the Z axis is the up and down of the shuttle the minus Z will use the uh, low damage thrusters it hardly ever uses the it not doesn't use the up and down it uses more of the forward and aft to control it and back to time skipping and it will take a while as you can see we crossed back into the uh, night side and turn off the music we're back in the night side. We'll probably go close as we uh, go into the. I need to thrust two to the left because we're drifting. This is minus two now. Uh, as we go closer, I think we'll be uh, about 2,000 feet once we cross into uh, the day side. So this will allow us to do most of the maneuvering we need without any uh, station keeping. Station keeping becomes important on uh, this line of work because we need to do the RPM in daylight and on the very end we got the fly around which will be covered on the, the, the RPM will be covered on the second video and the fly around on the third but we need to remember that both actions need to be done on the day side so we will uh, need to control and know where we are in order to do it correctly and we're, as we close in you can see that the uh, the rate needle start to respond very slowly to our thrusts and uh, it's now visible that they are working again four thousand feet now as we go into uh, the 2,000 feet limit, just on read the time skip, and we're cr crossing into the day side. I want to refer you to the uh, uh, SSM manual. You'll find an, uh, three chapters added uh, to it with uh, Service Spec 4. The first of, w of which is called Terminal Phase RPM and Torva. If you all just flip into it, uh, you'll see that you have a pretty much uh, the NASA checklist adapted to SSM. This is mostly work of uh, DJ of the French Forum, uh, which done the original adaptation a few months ago, and I've just uh, and we've just tweaked it around uh, in the SSM fans group and made it fit the new uh, service pack. So the, the rates are a bit different and uh, we have uh, different DAP settings and such, but in general it's very very similar to what you'll find on the NASA rendezvous vi uh, checklists. So let's go into the, uh, as we go into the uh, 2000 uh, feet limit, we'll just throw, pause twice to the right to zero out the uh, centering. As you, you look at it, you'll see it divided into uh, phases fitting the diagram on the left. Right now we're approaching the first step, which is, uh, as you can see, about 2,000 feet from uh, the station and closure is minus uh, 3 feet, the R dot, the closure, is uh, 3 feet per second. As you go closer, you'll see that the rate decreases. So let's just run it through going to the day side let's 
pulse twice and you can see that the needle is um, pulsing left sorry needle is almost straight and because this is pretty close and we can afford let's turn off the music again I can change the translation on the Y, which is left and right, to pulse. I don't need a uh, big thrust. It's better off for me to just do multiple presses and uh, have a controllable burst I can refer to, because the burst is always the same on pulse. So let's time skip again. Let's do three pulses to the right. Four, five, six. That's as good. Seven, eight, and nine. Now you can see the dent in it. We're at. I missed the point. Let's slow down. I'm slowing down with a plus Z thrust, which is aft. And I'm going to slow to about 2.1 because we missed the 1700 and we're approaching the 1500 mark. So it's step two if you look at the manual and it says 2.1 FPS R dot. So let's have 2.1. And again, we're going closer and closer. Now, uh, because we're so close, I can also change the X axis to pulse, which means the up and the down is the x-axis I'll change it to pulse and let's go on now we did nine pulses to the right so we'll do let's say six to the left it's one two three four five six needle is almost center which is good range 1300 our next stop step three is uh, 1000 feet with uh, 1.7 which which is pretty good because we'll be able to be close enough to finish the RPM before close, uh, crossing into the night side so we won't need to uh, station keep RPM as I said earlier is about 600 feet so let's keep on going in